Hi guys, Big Bang Becker here. I'm very, very excited to ride this Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 on this highway here to today in this beautiful cold Bangalore morning. Let's ride the most advanced Royal Enfield. I'm starting this vlog on a move is because there is no other Royal Enfield which made me feel like this Woo! <laughs> Oh my god I'm not kidding you guys I have never felt like this on a Royal Enfield and I have been riding this bike for the last 30 minutes and I haven't got of the saddle at all. Royal Enfield has done the magic with this twin cylinder to be honest. Wow! I mean everything is dialed up to 11. I love the simple color of the motorcycle and chrome finish everywhere. Dual circular instrument cluster with a hint of distal. Very very nice. There is fuel indicator. There is a proper RPM indicator. There is a speedo indicator and uh, we can check quite a few things here. Odo, trip A, trip B. That should be enough. So as you saw over there, uh, flicking through traffic is no big deal for this motorcycle. Now the surprising fact is that the wet weight of this motorcycle might come up to 215 or 220 kgs. That's roughly the math that I have done because the dry weight of the motorcycle is around 202 kgs or something like that so if you had the 14 liters fuel tank and the engine oil and everything it might come up to 215 to 220 unlike the previous Royal Enfields where you used to feel the weight on this one you don't the handlebars are slim and compact the foot pegs are slightly slightly rear set it's not in a commutator's position where your leg is perpendicular like this rather it's a little behind and it helps me and it helps me catch the tank very nicely and accelerate and enjoy okay coming to the quality of the motorcycle the switch gear is nice and simple to use very soft uh, the paint finish on the tank and the chrome finish on the handlebar the suspension the headlight the details around the instrument cluster everything is top-notch now let's come to uh, some of the best features on this motorcycle that none of the Royal Enfields in the past were known for or even considered one of those things is the slipper clutch so let me show you the action of the slipper clutch here I mean it's absolutely brilliant so I'm doing a hundred right now look at that there is there is no glitch you know let me tell this right out to you guys this is one of the best slipper clutch that I've experienced I wouldn't compare it to the Ninja 300 nope that is the best still but this is still better than the R15 V3 slipper clutch and the Duke 390 slipper clutch trust me when I'm saying that it is so smooth I don't know how Royal Enfield has done that oh look at that guys I, I'm, I'm really sorry for shouting in this video but it is making me that happy to be honest look at the way it pulls let me do that again because I'm addicted to the slipper clutch oh <laughs> so the next three features go hand in hand and they're all required in this generation for sure one is awesome tires and we have Pirelli on this which is made for these kinds of modern classic then we have the Biber brakes which are sharp as you saw there and we have the ABS on this bike, the dual channel ABS. Uh, let me be on the side of the road here. We are doing 80 kilometers per hour. Oh, that is brilliant as you saw. From 80 to 40 in no time, there is no slip or anything. Uh, the ABS is not that intrusive. It still gives you the benefit of the doubt about the road and then it then intrudes and makes sure you're not wiggling or anything. Even though the handlebar is so thin and light, 
when you are braking you don't feel the weight of the motorcycle amazing amazing revving it hard near the 6000 7000 rpm there is mild vibration in the mirror and there is mild vibration near the tank that's it apart from that there is no issue on any part of the motorcycle or you don't feel the vibrations or anything anywhere so that is a huge huge improvement over a royal enfield motorcycle to be honest that's brilliant the brake test again let me accelerate and if there is a panic brake situation oh look at that and the slipper clutch comes into assistance helps you downshift aggressively and then get back on the throttle again brilliant the front suspension is a uh, medium soft and the rear suspension feels a little hard uh when you're going over humps really fast only then maybe you will feel it in your spine otherwise the uh, suspension setup is amazing okay next coming to the engine braking of the bike on a twin cylinder triple cylinder or four cylinders you can always expect a better quality and a better effect of the engine braking and that's what i'll show you right now let's say we have accelerated and i let go of the throttle the bike slows down very very nicely very efficiently and you don't have to use the brakes at all to the indian biking community we certainly deserve motorcycles like this and they have kept it affordable as well love you royal enfield love you so much i want to show you what 52 newton meters of torque feels like on a royal enfield now i'm in second gear oh that's so good did you see the lift so let's do that in third gear it pulls so let's do that in fourth gear okay so from fourth gear on it becomes soft okay the road is free right now let's do an acceleration test oh third gear 100 Wow If you are a tourer who who likes to go on long rides with loads of luggage and a pillion this bike will wow you I'll tell you that very 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 comfortable in 120 to 140 range and it can do that all day long Okay next coming to the wind blast on the motorcycle if it's really windy you will certainly feel the wind blast on your chest because it's a naked motorcycle even if it is not windy obviously you will feel the wind blast uh, that is really expected out of this motorcycle because there is nothing here to protect the protect you from wind blast but if you can get a taller wind shield that is i guess available as accessory from royal enfield you should be set over there you should certainly go have a test ride to feel what i'm saying it's brilliant look at the slipper clutch oh my god i'm in love with it i'm in love with the slipper clutch of royal enfield look at the way it just goes from one speed to the other as if it's nothing the heat management of the bike is brilliant there is no heat at all near my ankles or thighs or knees whatsoever oh cool See, this is what I like. This is what I really like. Well, anyways, let me show you the turning radius here. As simple as that. Again, this was not there in the previous Royal Enfields, as I remember. You know, let's not compare this to uh, the Royal Enfield Himalayan and say that that can be done. No. If you consider, if you compare this to the other classics that the Royal Enfield has, very good, very good interceptor. Yeah, so before I conclude this video with this review, I just wanted to talk about a few more things. First of all, this particular protector here, the brackets, which is provided near the engine, is a perfect cover for your uh, legs so that you don't uh, touch the hot engine at all. Yeah, so this is the first time on the Royal Enfield that I've seen such lighter uh, foot pegs, and still they work perfectly, and there is no vibration at all. Yeah, so certainly Royal Enfield has given us a value for money bike. Uh, the on-road price is around three lakh rupees for a 650 cc engine, which can do 162 kilometers per hour, cruise at 120 to 140 comfortably. So with this, I would like to conclude this video. Do take a test ride to believe as to what I've said in this video. 
I absolutely love it. It's absolutely brilliant. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do stay tuned for other reviews.